Hey everyone, Derek here from Wayscript. In this video, let's look at how we can create a simple script that will notify us whenever there's a new commit to our master branch on GitHub. Let's get started. Starting out, we'll go to wayscript.com. Go ahead and log in. If you don't have an account, feel free to sign up. It's completely free. Now we'll click on create a new script. We'll call this one Slack notification when master push and click create we can get this script working in just a few minutes the first thing we need to do is to import the packages from the packages section we'll import github so we'll import it and we'll drag that in as a trigger the github trigger can activate our workflow using several different event types but in this example let's say push events to a repository that we can select. I'll select this dummy repository that I made for this tutorial called example prod. Then we can select the branch that we want. In this example, let's just say the master branch of our product. So what we've set up in just a few seconds is that whenever there's a push to our master branch, we'll activate our workflow. The information that we'll take from this trigger will just be the message of commits. This will provide us a list type of all the commit messages that we can pass on to a Slack notification. Let's build that Slack notification now. We'll click off, and then we'll go back up to packages. We'll clear the GitHub, and let's type in Slack. We'll click import, and we'll drag this into our workflow. Once here, if you've never used this module before, you can add an account by clicking on select your workspace and add an account. I've already done this, so I'll just use my code with Derek workspace. Like I said, we'll be using the output from this trigger to fully customize our Slack notification. Let's type a message, push to master with commits, and then we can pull in this output as a variable right in to our Slack message. In just two steps, we built a Slack bot that will monitor a GitHub repository and then send us a message. Now all we need to do is to turn this on. We'll click this switch on our trigger. Now let's test it out. Let's go make a change to our master branch in that repository. We'll go to my GitHub and let's just edit this readme so we get a change. We'll put something in here and let's say updated for YouTube video. We'll commit the change. Back on Wayscript, we see that our GitHub trigger ran, a push event occurred, it wrote to my Slack channel, and then it terminated. We got the message from that commit, so let's go check out Slack. Over on Slack, we see that we got the message that we expected when we pushed to that repository. And that's it for this one. I know it's a simple tutorial, but I hope you see the power that Wayscript provides whenever you're building these types of applications. If you have any questions or comments, as always, please let us know. Until next time.